is 8.30 right now. Hundreds of motorcycle riders are heading to the Hollywood Bowl this morning to take part in the 6th Annual Heroes Ride. Now, the ride honors fallen officers, also military veterans. Kate said by Lauren Lister is live there now with the preview. And great show behind you. Hi. Chris Lynette, it certainly is. This is filling up these lanes here at the Hollywood Bowl, and this is just the beginning. I am told that this entire street is going to be filled one level higher as well. All of these people coming out to ride today to honor fallen officers, also military veterans. It's very personal for a number of them because I've already uh, spoken to a number of uh, LAPD officers and people involved in law enforcement. Joining me now is Brian Moraguchi. He's the president of the LA County Professional Peace Officers Association. Tell us a little bit about what's going to happen today. So, Brian, what is, this, first of all, the symbolism and the significance of this event? Why do all of these uh, bikers turn out? Well, we're drawing attention to the fallen officers, uh, police officers who, who have died in the line of duty. That's really our focus. But we also want to honor our veterans who have served this country. So the ride itself will start here at the Hollywood Bowl. We'll ride through Hollywood, and then we're going to stop at the National Veterans Cemetery for a service and tribute to the military personnel. From there, we ride over to the uh, LA County Sheriff's Department's training facility, and there we'll have music and and vendors there and a car show as well. So I hope people will come out and, and check out all the cars and the motorcycles. And our uh, viewers are looking right now at video from last year. It's a, it's a pretty incredible sight, all of these bikers going through LA. How many people come out for this? And, and who are the people that come out for this and, and ride? We're anticipating anywhere from 300 to 350 riders this year. This will be our largest year. And it grows every year because people, I think, start hearing about what it is. And, and it's a very emotional thing for a lot of us. A lot of these are former police officers, military folks, current police officers. And it, it's, very, it's a very sensitive subject, obviously, to all of us about fallen officers and folks who are killed serving this country. I'm sure. Put it in a little bit of context. Uh, how has law enforcement been impacted this year in terms of deaths in line of duty? Well, this year, uh, actually referring to last year, because we, we honor those from last year and then up through this year, we had six officers killed in the line of duty last year in California. We also had two more killed this year in the line of duty. All right. Well, Brian, we will be with you all morning covering this. Uh, for our viewers, they will be starting this ride at 10 a.m., right? Yes, 10 a.m. And then where does it end that people can come and, and take part in kind of the festivities? The, the real party will be at the Sheriff's uh, Fiscal Center okay. in uh, East L.A. At what time? Uh, it just depends on when the motorcycles come in, but the car show will actually be starting probably close to 11 o'clock. All right, so uh, we will be covering it here. We'll talk to some bikers in the next hour. For now, though, Chris Lynette, I'll send it back to you. Lauren, thank you so much for that. New details here. The streets of Hollywood are about to be packed with motorcyclists on a very important mission. Yeah, okay, Taylor Fives, Lauren Lister live at the Hollywood Bowl to show us exactly what's going on there. Hi, huh, Lauren. Chris Lynette, good morning. The streets are about to be packed right now. This street is getting packed with all the motorcycles that are going to go out on the 6th annual Heroes Ride. This is to honor fallen police officers and also military veterans. And I'm joined by three of the men who are going to be riding, either current or former retired, rather, law enforcement. I'm joined by uh, Ken Sherpan, Kiko Martinez, and George Aguela. Talk to me, guys, and Howard, let's see our guests, if you can turn back around this way, I'm going to have the cameraman come over here. So, Ken, tell me, why are you writing today? Who are you writing for? Well, I represent law enforcement. I'm retired from Pomona Police Department. Which, to point out, you, Pomona Police Department lost an officer quite recently in the line of duty at a standoff that we were covering, and it was very tragic, and uh, we saw a big outpouring from the law enforcement community, so I just wanted to put that in context. Let's continue. Yeah. Yes, um... You know, unfortunately, uh, uh, the young officer had only been out of training or just about to get out of training uh, when this happened. So that yeah, was quite un unfortunate that the time was, you know, it, it's bad time any time for that to happen, but for him particularly, just getting started in his career. But uh, as for the ride, this, uh, this is honors all the fallen officers and uh, also military. Um, you know, we ride just to bring attention to that and to let people know, you know, that we're just folks like to ride motorcycles along with being uh, law enforcement officers and we're like anybody else. Yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, Kiko, you work for San Bernardino Sheriff's Department. Tell us how it affects you when you go into work on a daily basis uh, that you have lost colleagues, that you will 
continue to lose colleagues and, and what impact that has? Well, basically, um, just working at the, where I'm working now, I'm working at the academy. So I see a lot of officers come through there on a daily basis. And uh, basically, you know, for any fallen officers, that, um, uh, I'm basically here just to support them. Yeah. And this is your first ride, George. Tell us what brought you out here today. Well, what brings me out today is to honor the uh, veterans and the fallen officers, and more importantly, also the families that uh, still are here to carry on. And I do want to ask, Ken, you watch KTLA Morning News every day. Do you want to say anything to Chris and Lynette? Because now's your chance. <laughs> Chris, Lynette, I love you. Uh, every morning, I, and without fail, seven days a week, we come and watch you uh, get up out of bed. And, and first thing that goes on at the television, um, I love Chris with his sense of humor, the, the, the referrals, <laughs> bites. Um, uh, <laughs> We're just going to have you in our program. You don't program. have to wrap it up. Okay. Just okay. Okay. Let's talk. I love everybody there. Liberty, uh, you know, just, just everybody on the show. We just each of them has their own personality that is unique, and you know, they, they all feed on one another. I, I, you know, I find out what my weather's going to be like and, eventually, and, and I just, I just love it when that all comes up. All right, there you have it. Um, important ride though, going on here. They More. love you. I've got lots of people doing high fives. You tell them. You tell them our big What's stage that, door is open. He can just ride that cycle right oh, on right up the fence. Totally. Right now, right we're not allowed they to have candles in studio, but they did send us a memo right about motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> right on in, baby. I love Thank you. Fantastic. Please, yeah, really yeah. great out there. Really yeah, we did get that comment earlier. This hundreds of motorcycle riders are hitting the streets of Hollywood right now for the sixth annual Heroes Ride. It's uh, to honor fallen officers and veterans is the reason behind it. Kate Tilly's Lauren Lister live at the Hollywood Bowl to show us have they taken off or Chris and Lynette just moments ago it was quite a sight with everyone taking off all of these motorcycles to ride down sunset we missed it but we'll show it to you later uh they literally just uh, finished driving off uh, and moments ago let me just go ahead and show you a little bit of a ceremony they held here first that's the Keith Boyer Whittier Police Department to watch February 20th, 2017. So a bell ringing ceremony to honor those who have fallen, fallen law enforcement uh, over the past year, also to honor uh, people that have served in the military. You're looking at images of the ride last year. Uh, this ride just getting started. A number of people, both current and retired law enforcement, we've spoken to out here this morning. Uh, everyone's also raising money to help the families of fallen officers. And we spoke just a short time ago to some of the riders about what brought them out. Well, what brings me out today is just to honor the uh, veterans and the fallen officers, and then more importantly, also the families that uh, still are here to carry on. But uh, as for the ride, this uh, this is honors all the fallen officers and uh, also military. Um, you know, we ride just to bring attention to that and to let people know, you know, that we're just. Folks who like to ride motorcycles along with being uh, law enforcement officers and you know, like anybody else. And that last uh, man that you heard from is retired Pomona PD. You may recall that Pomona PD lost an officer just a, a short time ago earlier this year in a standoff with a suspect. Uh, back here live in Hollywood, if you want to catch the riders, because it's quite a sight, dozens upon dozens of motorcycle riders are heading down Sunset as we speak from the Hollywood Bowl to Westward, where they'll go to the L.A. National Ceremony for, Cemetery, rather, for another ceremony. Then it's to the L.A. Sheriff's Academy for a party, and everybody's invited, so you can head on out there to East L.A. if you want to join. That's the latest live in Hollywood. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you. When you were noticing what, Lori? How she holds her mic. It is. When you, you know? kick out your pinky. <laughs> what? Stick you your pinky out there. Stick your pinky out there. That's how it is. 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 It's classy. We think you're the best, Lauren. And as a matter I'm glad of fact, that you're a lot of people you. love Lauren. She got oh. high fives from the L.A. County oh. Heroes ride. This is Mike 
and Rosalie with Glendale Hog Chapter. Very cool high five. Oh, that's so And cool. here is a high five from some of the members of the local law enforcement taking part in the ride as well. We love, we love, love, love reviews. Hey, I want to say high five. Oh, also. shoot. Oh, take mine off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. No, go ahead. <laughs> Almost worked. Wanted to say a high five to some really <laughs> some really cool people that I hung out with yesterday. There we go. This is Bob and Brenda Anderson. I we hung out with them in Huntington Beach, and they are super. Cool. I thought you were in Burbank. I was in Burbank earlier, and then Huntington. Wow, you had a big day today. I'll be in Anaheim. Uh, but Bob and uh, and Brenda Anderson, good people. I love that. Good. Well done. You're videotaping it for me. You're so sweet. Thank you, darling. <laughs> All right. You get a route. My gosh, Burbank. To Today I'm doing that um, OC Women's Expo. Expo. I'll show you guys that. Maybe oh my excellent weather. So, I yeah. love that. Yeah. When you go together, do you drive or does David drive? Um, well, I will. <laughs> <laughs> David drove there last not yesterday and I drove home. So oh, yes, he had a cocktail. And I said, I'll drive. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, yes, that's that's fantastic. Very responsible. Yes, we're very responsible. That's <laughs> nothing less. Nothing less. But the best. Yeah, today I have a cocktail. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, it'll be really cool, but I'll be at the um, Anaheim Convention Center for the OC Women's um, Expo. And they, that. those people, they love us. They're all those women. They, like, love Are they women entrepreneurs? Is it women they're women entrepreneurs. Fires. They're doing great things. I'm going to be interviewing mm -hmm. Terry Hatcher. Oh. But they give us a lot of love down there. I will tell you, they Terry love. Terry Hatcher, the one with the van podcast yes. thing? Yes. So I'm very interested to talk to her. So I'm cool. doing that at 1 o'clock today. So if you're out and about in Anaheim, that's where I'll be. You do all that driving. You should look into van life. There are some people, there are executives in New York City that they have whole offices in their van. And I could see. You, you know what? If I had a van like your van, maybe. But my van would be like. I have no business. <laughs> yeah. You know what I did on Friday? I didn't really want to drive down to the live shot. So I Ubered all the way to Anaheim. Did you really? How much was that? I think it was like. 45 bucks. Sometimes that's worth it. By the, the time, time you get there, I did my makeup. Yeah, by the yeah. time you pay for parking, by the time yeah. you find yeah. out where you're going, yeah. like sometimes uh, it's yeah, worth yeah. it. What? Uber Pool? Uber, Uber Express? Uber, Uber. Uber X? Uber, Uber Black? Uber Black? Uber Black? Uber I always, I just normal Uber too, but say, you know, it's, well, it's nice when you get you a know, Camry or, or a Prius. Camry? What's a Camry? It's a Camry. Like a, talking about a Camaro a or a Camry? Sometimes you get a Geo Metro that's like ripped up in the back and you're like, oh. oh. no, it's always like a Prius. Who doesn't love a Prius? Who doesn't love a Prius? A Camry. Hollywood, we'll be right back. Hollywood. <laughs>